Those bubbles are not supposed to be in that line. The tube provides an adjustable but even flow of water to the sawmill blade. Air being sucked in at the top increases the rate of flow until the tube is empty and then the flow becomes almost nothing while the next few drops come down the tube. Too much soapy water on the blade can cause it to float off the wheel. Too little allows sap buildup on the blade. I tried to work all the air bubbles up to the top of the tube. That got me nowhere as air entered at the bottom as the water dribbled out. This valve is a simple open or shut valve operated by the throttle handle. Air was being sucked in at the needle valve that regulates water flow. That valve is shut off. There should be nothing happening here. And there's nothing but air as the fluid goes all the way down and out. I'll cogitate on that. I decided to remove the valve and drain the tank and take the valve apart and see exactly how it worked. I rounded up a couple of gallon jugs in a vodka bottle to catch the windshield washer fluid from the tank. I have a problem here when this fills up because the other one is out of reach. I could reach the vodka bottle, but it won't hold it all. Good boy, I got a gallon left in there. Okay, there's a thumb. Okay. Air's getting in either around this valve shaft. Ooh, it does not come out. It goes through there and stops. I tried to blow air through the closed valve. Yuck! Antifreeze. And whatever the hell that stuff is. Hate to waste good stout, but... So air is coming in either Right here, or right here, I could use Permatex number two, or Shugu, my go-to goop. I screwed the valve back into the tank, and then used Permatex number two gasket sealer all around the hose outlet. This thing still sucks air. I've got it all sealed up here. Air is getting in somehow here. What happens is, if I have this turned up a bunch, wide open, okay, wide open valve. Now we've got water flowing, I mean really flowing. We don't want that. But now look what happens when I turn the valve all the way down. That valve is closed. Now, when we trigger the flow valve down here, 
they were dripping too. Flow valve down here, there should be no movement. The water shouldn't go anywhere because no water can replace it. But watch this. Air displaces all of the water in the tube all the way down till the tube is empty. So, next trick is to wrap this in Teflon tape and then close it and see if that seals it. No, I don't know what to do. There's an awful lot of space there for that amount of Teflon tape to follow the threads in. Okay, there's closed. Things open a little. We've got to open enough to get some flow here. Okay, the tube is filling. I got my finger on the uh, outlet to plug it so the air can back up. Okay, what we have here is a tube full of water. Now if I close the valve to almost nothing, pull the trigger, we don't get air in there. If you've had a problem with this valve in your Woodland Mills sawmill, please let me know in the comments. I think I fixed it. Thank you Teflon Tape. And uh, the probably unnecessary Permtex number 2 gasket sealer. But we're good to go.